Talat Mahmud, the 24th of February 1924 to the 9th of May 1998, is considered one of the greatest male Indian non-classical and semi-classical singers. He was a born singer with an intuitive sense of beauty, charm and grace. He was an Indian playback singer. Although he tried his luck as a film actor, he didn't succeed a great deal in acting. Talat received Padma Bhushan in 1992, in recognition of his artistic contributions in the spheres of cinematic and ghazal music, he had a unique, elegant and profoundly artistic style of singing. Talat was a very gifted singer in every sense. He was particularly famous for singing soft and somber semi-classical and non-classical ghazals, but the film songs sung by him are also considered critically flawless and outstanding. Although Talat's typical genre was ghazal, he was an astoundingly brilliant film singer who sung innumerable fantastic film songs. Romantic and tragic were the moods he liked most and it was he who helped a great deal in shaping the style and method of modern ghazal singing. He can be described as the real founder of modern semi-classical and non-classical ghazal. During the 1950s and 60s, Talat was the first choice of the highbrow literary and artistic community of Indian subcontinent, especially Urdu-speaking community. Even his cancelled songs were immensely popular among them. No other singer had such intellectually high class and learned audience at the time with an exception of Mana Day. Talat's voice has often been described as the softest male voice of the Indian subcontinent, not only this, but his voice is also considered among the most soulful male voices ever heard in the Indian subcontinent. <laughs> Early life Talat Mahmud was born in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, to Manzor Mahmud. Talat showed his musical leanings from a very young age and would enjoy sitting through all-night music soirees listening patiently to some of the biggest names in classical Indian music then. Coming from a conservative Muslim background, singing was not encouraged. Talat had to choose between working in films and staying at home. Despite his parental objection he opted for the former, though his family accepted the fact only about a decade later when he gained respect in the industry. Singing career Talat apprenticed classical music under Pandit Scr. Bhatt at Maris College of Music, Lucknow presently Bhatkande Music Institute some time in late 30s. He started his career purely as a ghazal singer in 1939. Talat Mahmud began his singing career at the age of 16 in 1939 when he began singing the ghazals of Dog, Mir, Jigar etc. on All India Radio, Lucknow. His voice had a quality distinct from all the other singers. HMV was quick to notice this and offered Talat his first disc in 1941 Sab Din Ek Saman Nahinda, Bun Jaun Ga Kya Se Kya Main, Iska Ta Kuch Dayan Nahinda. His reputation as a ghazal singer was not limited to his hometown of Lucknow, but it reached the city that proved to shape his destiny, Calcutta. The then famous ghazal singers were Ostad Barkat Ali Khan, K. L. Sagal and M. A. Rauf. The classical songs he sang were, Sapnan Ki Suhani Dunaya Ko, for film Shakast and Lage Tos Naina, for Chandi Ki Diwar. In 1944 came the hit Tasvir Terry Dil Mera Bahela Na Saikgi. Its popularity was so phenomenal and unrivaled that even today it remains one of the top-selling non-film discs. This disc brought Talat the fame throughout India and soon he was beckoned by the Calcutta film industry. Talat made cameo appearances and starred in about 16 movies, for both the Calcutta film hub of the 1940s and Bombay film industry. The three movies in which he starred were regional hits in Calcutta. Initially, in Calcutta, he recorded a lot of Bangla songs basic album under the assumed name of Tapankumar. Several of his Bangla numbers were super hits in Bengal and are still aired on All India Radio Old Song Reminisces. He sang to the tune of eminent music directors like Kamal Dasgupta, Duati Paki Duati Tir. Sudan Dasgupta, A Rimjimjim Barosha. Quote. Rabin Chattopadhyaya. Chander E T O A A L O. Quote. Hamanta Mukhopadhyaya. E Jodi Akash Hoy. And V Balsara. Tumi Sundar Jodi Nahi. During the 50s and early 60s. 
In 1949 Talat moved to Bombay, to sing for the Hindi film industry. His name and fame had already preceded him and soon he was flooded with offers. His big break came with the song A Dil Mujhe Isi Jaga La Chal Jahan Koi Na Ho composed by music director Anil Biswas for the soundtrack of the movie Arzu. The song proved to be extremely popular. Legacy and significance Talat Mahmood was the real founder of modern semi-classical and non-classical ghazal. So, his influence upon other contemporary and succeeding ghazal singers has been broad and profound. It was he who paved the way for such legendary ghazal singers as Mehdi Hassan and Jagjit Singh. Hence he will always be placed very high for his contributions to transform and revitalize the whole art and form ghazal singing. Talat Mahmood can safely be placed among the greatest male ghazal and or film singers of the Indian subcontinent together with the singers like K. L. Segal, Muhammad Rafi, Ahmed Rushdi, Mehdi Hassan, Mana Day, K. J. Yasudas, Ostad Amanant Ali Khan, Kishore Kumar, Jagjit Singh, Ostad Ghulam Ali and Mukesh. Because of his soft and silky voice, subtly intricate and detailed method, correct pronunciation, infallible striking of the notes that are being tried, very sound knowledge of Indian music, striking the right note on the right time, and never missing a single bit of a beat, Talat conquered the souls of countless people throughout the globe, wherever Urdu and Hindi are spoken and understood. He is particularly and immensely popular among learned Urdu-speaking audiences having literary or artistic background, especially in Pakistan. Talat was a member of the famous male singers Troika of the 1950s who had their respective separate fan followings throughout the Indian subcontinent. The other two were Muhammad Rafi and Mukesh. This famous Troika was the most popular group of the film singers of the 1950s in the entire subcontinent, who enjoyed the largest audience ever existed during any period of subcontinent cinematic history. Talat exerted a profound influence upon the ghazal singing of his time with his immensely melodious voice and artistic craftsmanship, particularly suitable for typically semi-classical ghazal singing. He was born to be a ghazal singer, with his majestic style and brilliant diction he conquered not only the hearts of innumerable highbrow listeners but also common folks of his time. He was the heart-favorite singer of the older and maturer audience of his time, and this type of audience still listens to him more than any of the Ghazal singers who ever sung except the shahenshah e ghazal Mehdi Hassan and Jagjit Singh. So, in a sense, he still necessarily is a member of another troika, to be more precise, the three most influential Ghazal singers of all time. Talat particularly and profoundly influenced a whole generation of young singers who succeeded him, including legendary Ghazal singers Jagjit Singh and Pankaj Udis who always honors him with the title of Shahenshah e Ghazal, singer Sajad Ali and playback singer Abhijit Bhattacharya. <laughs> Acting career G. M. Durrani was a model to many playback singers who followed then. The soulful renditions of Durrani were to be reminded of by Talat's singing as well. Besides being a gifted singer, Mahmood was quite handsome as well. He acted in over a dozen films with top actresses of the time like Newton, Mala Sinha, Saraya and others. Later he decided to give up acting to concentrate on singing. Talat acted in the following Hindi films. The advent of rock and roll in the late 1960s sidelined singers like Talat. As long as he was top box office draw, the movie producers insisted on including his songs in their movies. Talat's velvety vocals posed a special challenge to the music composers, most of whom leaned towards the deep baritones of Muhammad Rafi and Mukesh. The resultant demise of his movie career led to the decline of his singing career. At the same time, the social changes and happiness brought about by increasing prosperity in India meant that blue mood ghazals and heart-rending ballads were not popular anymore. Talat continued to record good songs, but less in number. His last soundtrack recording, in 1985, is the song, Mir Sharik e Safar, a duet sung with Miss Hemlata, from the movie, Wali e Azam, composed by Chitragupt and written by Ahmed Wazi. However, Talat who was the first Indian singer to go on foreign concert tours in 1956 to East Africa found eager fans awaiting his arrival in other foreign countries. Jam-packed audience in the United States, the UK, West Indies and other countries awaited his arrival enthusiastically. 
He performed in famous Royal Albert Hall in London, Madison Square Garden in the States and Jean-Pierre Complex in the West Indies. He continued singing in the packed auditoriums until 1991 when he toured Holland. Talat sang about 800 songs in his long career. His songs are still popular among the music lovers as they were in the days these were released. Family Talat married a Bengali Christian girl from Calcutta, who also acted in films and was a great fan of his, Latika Mullik, later named Nazreen on 20 February 1951 and had two children Khalid born in 1953 and Sabina born in 1959. <laughs> Personality People, who were close to Talat, describe his nature as a quiet one. He is often remarked as a decent man, and his velvety and silky voice also reflected that decency and sense of calmness. Music directors, who worked with him, claimed that while listening to him, one would develop the feeling that Talat was a soft-hearted man. Dilip Kumar termed Talat as, a perfect gentleman. He was a fine gentleman who always had time and respect for his admirers. Available work Talat sang approximately 800 songs spread over four decades spanning between the 40s and 80s. Some of the most popular work of Talat is available even today with the following titles Golden Collection of Talat Mahmood CD 131015 Talat Mahmood in a Sentimental Mood CD 132335 Evergreen Hits of Talat Mahmood CD 132017 Topic <laughs> Popular Singles Even though Talat sang hundreds of hits some of his most memorable songs from Indian cinema are Humze Aaya Na Gaya, Dekh Kabira Roya 1957. Jayan to Jayan Kahan, Taxi Driver 1954. Tasvir Banata Hoon, Baradari 1955. Dil e Nadan Tuja Wa Kya Hai, Mirza Ghalib Duet with Saraya, 1954. Itna Na Muchsi Tu Pyar Bada, Chaya Duet with Lata Mangeshkar, 1961. Seen me Sulagteen Hain Arman, Akan Mine Yudasa Chai Hai, Tarana Duet with Lata Mangeshkar. Anso Samaj K. Kian Mujay, Chaya. 1961. Aha Rim J. Him K. Yi Pra Pra Geet Lie, Usne Kaha de Duet with Lata Mangeshkar. Sham E. Gum Ki Kasam, Food Path. Jalt Hain Jiski Lie, Sujata Mary Yad Me Tum Na, Madhash Fear Wohi Sham Wohi Gam, Jahan Aara I Mir Dil Kahan Aur Chal, Dog Zindagi Deen Whale Son, Dil E Nadan Main Dil Hoon Ek Arman Bara, Anhuni Anda Jahan K. Anda Raste, Petita Kadale Nila Kadale Malayalam Movie, Dweep, Music by M.S. Babaraj Ashkin Ne Jo Paya Hai, Chandi Ki Diwar Music, N. Dutta, Lyricist, Sahir Ludian, Bachain Nazar Betab Jigar, Yasmin Music, C. Ramchandra, Lyricist, Jan Nisar Actor Riyat Ne Kya Kya Wab Dikhe, Ek Gaon Ki Kahani Chal Dia Karavan, Lut Gay Hum Yahan, Tum Vahan, Layla Majna Hok Majbur Muje Usne Bulaya Hoga, Hakikat Song with Rafi, Manada and Bupendra I Dil Muje Isi Jagala Chal, Arzu 1949, Milt Hai Onken Dil Wa Diwana, Babul Mara Jeevan Sathi Baikar Gaya, Babul Koi Naheen Mara Iss Dunia Mind, Dog Humdard K Marin Ka, Dog 1952.